Welcome to the demo video of WP6 Work Package Use Case. In this video, I will show you the performance of the work done so far within the WP6 Work Package of the Couriers project. To recall briefly the context of WP6, it is about providing a use case in the airport domain in order to validate different aspects of the future internet through the Couriers platform. Six partners contribute to this work package. Thales, Inuria, Sili, UDA, VIA and USP. The video will focus on a one-time demonstration of the use case. In the first part, I will remember the choreography that we have selected as part of this demonstration. Then, I will go through on the aspects of the future internet put forward before finishing on the integration of components of different partners which allowed to technically lead to this result. Just a reminder, therefore, about the choreography implemented for this demo. It fits in the passenger-friendly airport use case and has the role of demonstrating the choreography established in order to take care of the passengers following their landing after their aircraft has been rerouted. In this piece, we can note a very clear separation between before the arrival of passengers and after. In the first part, only the sensors of the airport are involved in the choreography. These sensors can either be sensors of pressure, infrared sensors, sound sensors, and so on, or actuators like traffic signs, Arrows. In the white part of the choreography, the sensors carried by passengers' smartphones, like sound sensor, GPS, screen, are also involved in the choreography. These sensors are implemented as mock-up sensors. We illustrate very clearly some aspects of the future Internet, such as dynamicity, that is to say, the ability to be able to insert at one time services to the large scale because of the disembarking of a group of passengers, which implies a sudden and quick change in the number of sensors and actuators to be integrated into the system. And the last point highlighted is interoperability, the fact to be able to communicate with these new services through the REST API. This ability to communicate with all sensors and actuators is made possible through the work of Inria. These also provide the interoperability component that permits to communicate with services that are not web services, but implemented in another programming paradigm, Java Space in this instance. This implementation allows to manage the database of baggage carousels in their availability, allocation per flight. We now focus on the execution of the choreography. Services are deployed on several machines and communicate with each other via the Enterprise Services Bus Easy ESB provided by Linagoa. The choreography is initiated by the event. ATC confirms the approach of a plane to the airport. This event is then translated, interpreted, and graphically transcribed as shown by the graphical interface dedicated to the 
ATC. Here we have four views, four different graphical representations of key elements of the choreography, synchronized in time to see the integration and communication of the various components that constitute it. From left to right, tap to bottom, we have a view of the ATC that we previously discussed about, a simulation of the airport, and I mean simulation, as passengers that will get off the plane in the following of the simulation will have their sensors affect and taken into account by the system. The two other Graphical user interfaces are, on the left, the screen of the smartphone of a passenger, and on the right, a display inside the airport. Let the scenario unfold. We can notice that the noise level in the airport averages about 12 decibels. The number of sound sensors is not very important as they correspond to the sensors deployed in the airport, so in fixed number. The aircraft lands, passengers exit the aircraft, thus the passenger monitoring activity can be key. Information about directions are broadcasted on the screens of passenger terminals and on billboards from the airport. We can also note that the sound sensors of passenger smartphones are used in the calculation of the overall noise of the airport, making the result more precise, which leads to the increase in the volume of the speakers at the airport for ads about directions or flight information, speakers being considered as sound type actuators. We are therefore able to control and query a large number of sensors using the TINGS framework. Sensors like GPS of phones passengers are used to determine the average position of all passengers who travel in groups, which helps to ensure consistency with the directional announcements sent to the actuators. Passengers are now out of the airport. The execution of the choreography ends. In conclusion, I would say that this video shown through a use case specific business, the interest of the solutions developed in the context of careers, especially XSBGA's interoperability companies and things framework provided by INRIA, as well as the Enterprise Services Bus Easy ESB provided by Linagoa, and of course, the business services implementation of the use case provided by Thales. Although still basic, this demo will be expanded in the next 12 months with more and more integrated careers components that validate other aspects of the future internet. Thanks for your attention.